the Swiss-born referee, a legend in his own right. And things are underway here. And here comes Germany with the first chance down the right. It's a first shot on goal. Peruzzi had to make the save. No doubt about it. Asamoah teed up on the edge of the area, hit it with his right foot. And that might well have curled inside the post with nine goals in that time between 1998 and 2006. Great to see him back in the blue tonight. Another shot in on goal. This time, Peruzzi let it go wide. Here it comes now, Germany going forward with Asamoa. Bruno Conti just laying the ball off for Gennaro Gattuso. And now Pirlo. This time the ball forward and on offside again between 2002 and 2009. And surprisingly, the crowning achievement of that Italy career, the 2006 World Cup win. But here comes Odoncourt on the left for the DFB Legends team. Nice ball into the area. It's through the legs of the goalkeeper. But cleared away by Fabio Grosso. Well, no surprises that Pirlo will take this with his right foot. It's low, it's on target. Weidenfeller gets down and makes the stop. Given the respective ages of the players in these squads. But they're trying their best and here's a bit of pace. Odoncourt on the right of the area, squares it into the middle. And it's an own goal. The DFB Legends lead. DFB All-Stars 1 at Surrey Legends 0. It's an own goal by the captain, Fabio Cannavaro. A wry smile on his face. And the DFB All-Stars found some space down the right. A bit of bad luck for Cannavaro. Odon calls ball in. Cannavaro did his best to stop it. Just ended up spinning it back off his legs. Wrong footing. Totti with a bit of space to run into now. The crowd starting to come to life. The ball across towards Simone Perotta. Into Pirlo. Nice ball out down to Fabio Grosso on the left. Oh, good touch to go past his man. Did it go out of play? Massimo Busaka says no. Italy will have a shot. It was Gattuso in the end. A left-footed strike. Just drifted wide of the goal. Great touch from Grosso. He's still got it. Gattuso hits it relatively cleanly. It looks as though Torsten Frings will be the one to deliver this ball into the area. 79 caps and 10 goals for Germany. Right-footed ball into the box. We found Philippe Volscheid. Conti, Bruno Conti. He's given the ball away to the captain, Klinsmann. There's a chance to shoot. And it's blocked. It's come to Volscheid. Saved in the end. Still the danger isn't clear, though. Fabio Grosso chests it down. And he's going to run the ball out of the area. But it's given away again. Pandemonium on the edge of the Azzurri box. But here's a break for Italy. He's got Luca Toni over. Toni beats Weidenfeller to the ball. But Weidenfeller did enough to concede the corner. Italy have 15 wins. Germany eight in the matchups between these two sides. Germany so famously unable to beat Italy in tournaments. But here they come. Great chance to double the lead. Just goes too far wide. Still got the ball. Klinsmann. And it might be another own goal. How unfortunate is that for the Azzurri legends? It is another own goal. Legendary Italy captain who knocked the ball into his own net for 1-0 after a cross from David Odonko. In that time, Jürgen Klinsmann with a follow-up effort at goal. Panucci couldn't stop it. But here comes Luca Toni for Italy. And he gets one back for the Uturi legends. 2-1 after 20 minutes. Now the floodgates have opened. We could see a lot more of this as the game wears on. Both sides starting to really enjoy themselves in this encounter.
smiles all around. You contribute to the morale in the dressing room. There's more than just the minutes on the pitch in these World Cups. But here comes Totti advancing towards the area. He's got a chance to shoot and level things up. He does so. 2-2. Two -two. He might have taken a deflection on the way through. Hard to tell from this angle. But whatever happened, the Azzurri legends are level. Francesco Totti. Nine goals for Italy in his career. And now a goal for the Azzurri legends as well tonight in foot. 34 minutes gone. Torsten Frings back with him. Good touch from Totti and he's unleashed. Andrea Pirlo. Pirlo cutting back inside. He's going to take the shot. Good save, Roman Weidenfeller. That's the first big stop that Weidenfeller's had to make from a shot on target. He did block one with his feet earlier on to smother the danger. At that time, he had to be alert and use the hands on Gaudino. As Grosso unleashes a hit on the volley with his left foot. Always screwing it wide of the target, though. But as I was saying, that's right. So famous in his footballing career. But here comes Moreno Torricelli once more. He's going to unleash a strike. It was low, it was dipping, it was swerving, it was always wide of the target. Trukowski turns into trouble, knocks it towards Skilacci, and it's given away. Chance for Italy, they have a shot. Perry Breitigam comes up to make the save, tipping the ball away, and you can hear how much the crowd enjoyed that one. Surveying what he sees. 1-2 with Ravanelli, ends up with Skilacci on the edge of the area. The shot comes in. Will he line up a shot for himself? Thinks about it. Flicks one in towards Oliver Neuville instead. Let's it go past the keeper. Who's in the middle waiting for it? Goes right instead. The ball comes in towards Ravanelli in the end. Pushed away well by Perry Breutigam at the near post. Well, there were options all over for the Atori legends there. Here comes Stefano Fiore. Cuts back well on the edge of the area. Will he take a shot? Doesn't quite free up space. In the end, it does. But drags the shot wide. Stefano Fiore. It's not a great goal kick from Breutigam, though, it must be said. And it gives the Edsuri legends a chance. As we go towards 79 minutes, the header flicked over, and it's in! Damiano Tomasi. The header looped up. And there was no way that Perry Breutigam could cover that. The trajectory of the ball made it impossible. Italy hit the front with 12 minutes to play here in foot. He's up against Maltaretti on the right. Finds Trachowski in the middle. Pressure from behind though. Trachowski does well to keep the ball against the goal scorer. Has a go. And there might be a chance on the follow-up. Well, Klinsman had a great chance to convert and bring things level. Maybe thinking about lining one up from distance. It's a shot from outside the area, curled in by David Odoncourt. But Marco Emilia gets down. The shot was on target. And Di Biagio, I think the player is standing over it. It looks like Ravanelli will hit it. He does. And it's just over. In fact, was that saved by Perry Breutigam? If it was, it continues an excellent performance in the second half. Ravanelli saying it must be a corner. Goes to Gaudino instead. Flicks one over. It's a good ball. Neuville cuts back. Can't shoot though, Trichovsky can, and it's saved, and it falls to a blue shirt instead of a white shirt on the rebound. Ball into the box, it's a chance, will it go in? It will! It's Volscheid who scored it, it goes all the way across the face of the goal, but finds a way in at the back post. Celebration for the home fans, celebration for Volscheid, Asamoah too, just as the clock ticked over into extra time. Philip Volscheid has come up with the leveller.